collected. I can't give you that information. I mean, let me ask Tabby. David, don't you have another account that she can use? I don't know that. I don't know the. For some reason, it's not sending me a code to my email because I had to change my email on it because I don't remember the freaking email I linked to it. I had to keep making different emails because of my fake accounts, okay? Oh my gosh. I'm trying. It's. What? Okay, it's a Gmail account. So Put your number in it instead. I would, but that's linked to my main account. <sighs> well, let me do it. <laughs> what email would I have used? Son of a bitch. Maybe if I make a text now number and link that number to it, that might work. Just kidding. Okay, what? Let me remove my phone number off my main account and see if that works. Oh my gosh. I'm, struggling. I'm struggling, okay? Even when I'm sick as fuck, I still defend my babies. Okay, that's my no, account. R.I.P. Bad Mama 2.0. Help oh me. Yeah. R.I.P. I'm going to say this as okay. calmly and as most, it was as much with. David, watch to be you. as collected as I possibly can. can. We went past the point of funny little rap parodies crap. Straight into a territory where You should have never went. And you can say what you want about me. You can think what you want about me. I've been around this world a time or two. I'm almost 49 years old. I've seen a thing or two in my life. Free and block me. So and there ain't a man on this planet I'm afraid of. But when you bring children into it and you make threats and bring my deceased mother and talk about my five-year-old and my grandson... You've crossed a line that you should have never crossed. Because think what you want. That I won't survive on this, on the streets. I won't survive in this place or survive in that place. Or I wouldn't do this or do that. Or you uh, blah, blah, this or blah, blah, that. But let me enlighten you. You have crossed a line. As I said, you should have never crossed. I'm sending it, Brie. Hold on. (laughs) 
and we're going to leave it at that. And you said in that wrap, you got 50 bikers ready to pull up. Don't play that. I'm on live. Cut the music. Cut the music. Uh, you got 50 bikers ready to pull up, and you'll find it with your fist. Drop my Addy. I've already dropped it. It's already out there. It's been out there. Even his social security. Exactly. I've dropped my address, my full name, my address, my social security. It don't mean shit to me. Because that's, that's how unscared I am. And when you bring my children into it and my grandchildren. Hmm. Now you've crossed the line. I'm so upset and so pissed off right now. I can't even think straight. I don't even know what to say right now. I really honest to God don't. Because honestly, probably the look on my face probably says it all. And people that's on here that knows me in real life and has known me in real life, hmm, probably her nose. David, let Bree up. I just tried. What happened? She's on my back. I'm back. <laughs> but I'll let you keep talking, David. Let me know when you're done. I'm done. Because at this point, I don't even know what to say. I really, honest to God, don't know what to say. Okay, then I will say I'm, I'm so pissed off right now. I... I... <sighs> so, you guys want to be racist because my kids are Mexican. Mm. Do better. You want to say my kids are on drugs? Mm, do better. Um, saying I'm on drugs? Mm, do better. I have DCS coming to my house pretty much every two weeks because we're getting full custody of my husband's son, who's four. I already got four kids living with me on top of five kids now. We take care of every single kid that comes on weekends. So majority, ask anyone, when they call me on weekends, I'm super fucking busy because I have all these kids to take care of. Um... My kids won't do drugs because they won't be in that type of environment. Um, it don't. What I do off this app is none of y'all's business. Y'all just mad because we called out a grapist. I would. I swear, if I would have found out one of someone I was fucking with was a grapist, I'd be like, mm, bye. How about you guys worry about you know the three kids that are living in a grapist house right now instead of worrying about kids that are getting taken care of, um, got everything and anything they wanted. Um, I have therapy coming to the house twice a week for about two hours. Um, you want to pull up at my Addy? I got cameras, bro, so pull up. I ain't scared. Pull up, pull up as many. You want to bring bikers? Cool. I ain't going to tell you me because I'm going to watch what I say. I ain't scared. Pull them up, too. I'll be standing outside. I don't care. That's right. There is a threat and we could actually use that for tomorrow. So like, keep going with it. You're trying to get a rise out of us. You're not getting it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You wish you were me living my best life. I'm so sorry. I will pray for you every night, but keep thinking what you want. Me sick as hell. I still take care of my kids. I don't do drugs. Sorry. I, you guys want to talk on my husband saying he sold marijuana 420 right but grape is sold how do you say it on tiktok methylena or whatever okay my husband did that before we had kids because i should have told him you keep doing what you're doing and you won't have me my kids that was the time when i had my son 
and he was a couple months old when my husband started coming around. My kid was not allowed around that shit. And I kept telling him, you keep doing what you're doing and you're going to lose me. You know what he did? He dropped what the fuck he was doing and got a job and became a family man, not a drug dealer. And he never sold drugs that could kill somebody. It's 420. That was it. You want his records? I can screenshot them. I can post them. He might not like half of it, but you know, everybody has a skeleton skeletons in their closet. Not really the only one left in this all. So what you guys are trying to do is take a rise out of us. Baby, keep talking on my kids, because at the end of the day, my kids are going to succeed in life. They'll be rich soon. You know, they, they'll do something and they're going to go to college. My kids love school. OK, so like do better. We're praying. You need Jesus and I hope you rot in hell. OK, thanks. They can record me because I'm watching every move I make so y'all can't come for me. But you know what? Keep going. Because that just pushes me more and more and more and more to do better. Okay? Y'all should be worried about grapes, not me. Oh, I don't care. It's already out there. It's public information. Go look my husband's name up. I just, we don't care. If he was such a bad guy, why is DCS constantly coming to our house? Why is DCS here? Why do we have an open investigation? Well, not, not because really, of not us. Mad. Not because of us. Because of something else. And guess who's getting full custody? We are. Yes, me. We are. Because you know why? We pass our drug screens. They come look at my house. Go real life with me. I'm not scared. I really ain't. And I will come on this app every day to defend my kids. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to back down on a grapist. You harassed me. You mad for some reason. And I know why you mad, but I ain't going to say why. But I know. Okay. I might have skeleton in my closet, but the one thing I ain't is a grapist. Okay. Get that through your thick skull. And Lindsay, you need to figure it the fuck out, girl, because you got three kids. Worry about your kids and not a fucking a grapist, okay? It's public information, baby. Figure it the fuck out. Okay. Because that's what y'all love to do. You guys come after people's kids. Junior's doing amazing. I might be coming seeing Junior soon. So, like, what? You going, what? You want to talk about Katie's kids? They're no, doing this amazing. Is my life. Melissa's kids, they look happy and healthy. Okay? You just talking on kids because you know at the end of the day that will really get us going. But I realize that's what y'all like. And I'm just going to come out come up here and be like keep keep talking baby okay at least i at least i ain't a great bitch. that's all i gotta say <clears throat> there was a rap song of me because hi i'm bad mama 2.0 because that's what they like to call me so i put my name as bad mom 2.0 and i will say this you come on my account and you screenshot my kids bro all i gotta do is call my mama up and ask her and i will do what i gotta do to lawyer up and come after your ass because i can because i can see Y'all going way too far with this shit, and now it's coming into real life. And I, if I was y'all, I would back the fuck down and really realize what the hell you're doing because you, what are you doing? Keep going with it and keep going with it and keep going with it until you what, behind bars? Because I'll be the biggest laugh 
And I can't wait. I will clap my hands and say we did it because all y'all do is harass people. You guys talk on people's kids. Well, why don't you look up hip hop production and go from there? Okay. And I really love my nuggies, okay? They're my best friends, okay? And they really do like chicken nuggets. Like, my kids will eat the hell out of some chicken nug nugs. They love their nug nugs. Oh, now you want private. And Grapus, didn't you say you always come up to the box and you would like doubt me when I would leave the box because you're literally putting me into a panic attack? Bitch, where are you at? Ugh, time's ticking, bro. I'm just waiting. Protect the Nug Nugs. <laughs> You need to protect them from my kids because they'll eat them all if I let them. Dude, my kids will eat up so you much. Like, you like nuggets. nuggets. See, on top of that, um, well, okay, look up. We cannot do it on a platform because I did it last time and RIP Bad Mama 2.0 because my shit got banned. But um, look up. Oh, uh, shit. Sorry. Look up Hip Hop Productions. They made a video of all of our kids. They made a video, talked about us and talked on our kids and was being racist because my kids are Mexican because their dad's a Mexican and I'm white. Pretty racist in my book. See, I'm kind of... See, my kids are dark. I'm white. And I want to be tan. Stay on here, Bree. I'm going to mute my mic real quick. I'm going to make a real quick phone call. Uh, okay. Oh, Tam Tammy Lynn, you think this is for clout? You think I give two fucking rats ass for clout? I ain't got time to do what people do on here. I don't got the patience to do what half of these people do. Okay? Because it ain't clout for me, baby. I'm just, I ain't going to sit back and let people talk on my babies. Y'all mad because they're eating chicken nuggets and you're not? They're, they're nug nug nugs. Bitch. <laughs> I really wish I could, um, voice, like, lip read because I can't. And I have no clue what the hell he's saying. Quit bothering me. You're bothering me just by your name. David, mommy, super mommy. I told him Miss Smith or Mr. Smith, I don't know. Um, actually, I told him keep going because it's just more proof, more documents. Because now, you know what I'm doing? Every time y'all keep coming after me, I'm going to keep sitting back and seeing it. And I'm going to save it and all this other shit. You say you're going to pull up on my Addy? Go for it. I bet you my address is linked somewhere. Check messages.
I really don't want to put that on the green screen because I don't know if uh, that'll get you nannered or not. Because if something happens again, I need a backup account and I'm going to use yours. <laughs> R.I.P. Bad Mama 2.0. This shit sucks. They were making a racist comment to my kid because they're half white, half Mexican. Because my husband's Mexican. I guess they mad for some chicken nug nugs. I'm mad too. I can't get a fucking bite because my kids be all over that shit. My five-year-old, if you don't pay attention to him, he gonna heat up some chicken nug nugs. He don't play. He'll take your money for some McDonald's too. My kids are expensive. Yeah, he's on the phone. Tabby typed in the chat. He ain't listening to me. I asked him to. Oh, he said, hold on. Yeah, because they talked about his five-year-old. I'll be mad, too. But he being calm and collected. Because what's going to do is backfire on y'all bitches. Should I be? Y'all Y'all should be more worried about three girls in a house with a grape is. That's all I'm going to say. I'll be worried about that. That my that my nug nugs. Cause that's what they called him. <laughs> um gay hip hop productions. They're making raps. Will you make a rap about my flat ass, please? Because I do got a flat motherfucker. And I really wish I could plump that bitch up like back in the day before I had kids. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Did you hear what I said, David? <laughs> What'd you say? I said what they really need to rap about is my flat ass. Because I need to plump that bitch. Because back in the day, I had a butt. And then I had kids and my shit gone. It, it's destroyed. <laughs> R.I.P. Breeze butt. <laughs> I'm just doing what they do. Oh, I can't turn my freaking camera on. So y'all probably want to go mass report Stitches and Lindsay's account because he's a great bitch and he, he's not supposed to have TikTok, you know. There you go, done. What? The account you're on. Oh. Mod. Y'all worried about the wrong kids here. Y'all worried about the wrong kids here. And to the people that said, I'm going to stand by Eddie, you a grapist too. I won't support that shit. You got me fucked up. I've known Pastor Petty for a very long time. I've always watched him. Me and him did have a little spear up before. That was it. And Pastor Petty don't be saying shit just to, just to say it. He comes with facts. If you ain't got the facts, he don't say shit. Period. So I hope you guys love supporting that to all you motherfuckers. Because I'm mass report all y'all's accounts. Mm. Yeah, they are. 
they, they've not only mentioned my older kids, they've mentioned Junior, and now they've mentioned, now it mentioned my grandson, because it said Kirkland Junior. Well, that's not actually his name, but he does have a son. David, just look at this, that they're jealous because you take care of your kids and they don't. That's just how I see it. That gay rap parody person. He's mentioned Junior in the last, like, what, three raps he's done? At least the last three raps? And y'all supporting someone who sold FMN, however you want to talk about all my kids. He's talking about my daughter. He's talked about my two, two of my sons. He's talked about Junior. Now he's put my grandson in it. Just let him. He put my deceased mother in it. Let them talk. And they said, if we go live about this, then they're going to post our address or they're going to come to our address, post my address. But my address has been posted. Hell, I did it myself. Post my ID up. Oh, and Grapus, I love how you told people in that box the other day that I harassed your wife for um, three days. Not nah, sweetheart. No, I didn't know I. She yelled at me first in a phone call, so I snapped back. I am not a bitch. Don't yell at me because I'm going to yell back. Okay? And I got the messages, so keep going with your little stories that you have. And I'm going to keep saying it. Y'all need to be more worried about them three kids than our kids any day. Because my kids ain't living in a house with the great best. No, I'm not people. okay. I'm far from okay. So y'all take your energy to the greatest and um, help them kids, bro. That's all I got to say. I could say so much, but I'm trying not to. We, we're not talking on Kanisha. This is about a grapist. Oh, Amber, did you just show up here? Did I just see that Amber just come in here? I 
I seen you, girlfriend. Well, if it's not my bad, but if you are, I see you. I I would pick your friends wisely. You're hanging out with the great piss. I would be I would be embarrassed. Sorry to say. And whoever hangs out with him, y'all disgusting. Yes, he does. It's called Stitches. And then his wife's name is Lindsay because she's the one put her um, actual name out there as Lindsay because her name is Lindsay. Um, so, yeah. So, why y'all coming after our kids? Again, y'all, y'all need to be worried about them three kids living in a house with a grapist. Hello. Facts were shown. So instead of worrying about kids are well taken care of, all that, I would be more worried about kids that are laying in a bed in a house with a great piss and who abuse his wife and sold drugs and smokes right in front of the damn kids. Um, do you want me to keep going? Because we got facts here. I think we've shown a lot of people shown facts, which personally I don't. I've never got a close relationship with them. Thank the Lord Jesus. But other people do, and um, they're just mad because they're coming out with the truth. And one minute that wasn't him, next minute, oh, I just pushed the bitch out. It don't matter. You touch a female, bro. You touch a female, no matter how what you did, you physically touch a fucking female. Get the fuck out of my face with that bitch. And if you're going to pull up at my house, you ain't got the money. Let's be honest, because you be asking your people for money. And you want to talk on me? I've never asked nobody for money, bro. Ask anybody that fucks with me. Never. Ever. I've handed my money out to people just to do it. Just to see a smile on their fucking face. It don't matter who I sent it to, but I did. Because I'm like that. But you want to come over here and talk on us, bro. You really need to look yourself in the mirror and really see who the fuck you are. You want to talk on people's DV. This is why some DV survivors don't talk on their shit. I won't even talk on my shit. I was about to. Back in the day I was. But I said, nope, I ain't. Fuck all that shit. I am not. All I gotta say, if you if something does happen, this is my advice to you. Don't drop the soap, bro. Do not. Okay? Okay. Yeah, she wanted to buy me a beat ther thermometer, and I wouldn't even let her. I said, nah, you got you got a child to take care of. I'll I'll get it. People has offered to buy me stuff and I shut them down every time. I had somebody wanted to make me a, 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 a care package or something with, like, candy and shit. And I was like, no, nah, I'm good. Thank you. Exactly what I said. But you're harassing people for what? Oh, because you really have skeletons in your fucking closet. You want to go look up my name? Go for it. It's stealing fucking diapers. Woo! I did my time on probation. I'm off probation. I did exactly what I'm supposed to, you know. <sighs> if Tiny Diny didn't get me in jail, come on now. I might. It all depends. And these are threats, so if I was y'all, shut the fuck up before it gets worse.
But again, mm-hmm. y'all, I'm going to keep saying it. Stop worrying about our fucking kids and worry about three kids that's in a house with a rapist. That's all I'm going to fucking say. Oh, uh, cool. Oh, what's up, gay hip hop production? You mad? Be- Are you mad or something? You gotta talk. All my kids, keep going, bro. Cause I don't give a fuck. I f- fucking give zero fucks, to be honest. And I'm not gonna spaz the hell out. I ain't gonna do this or do that. Keep talking. Keep going. Keep going. How you doing? With them threats that you kept doing. Trust and believe me. Keep going with it. Uh, I'm not docked a single person, thank you, except for myself, plain and simple. I didn't dox anybody. I don't even know where these people live at. I, well, to... All right, it sounds like a sounds like a deer gay hip hop productions. Those are boxing rings. Put a band on what? He's gonna make a rap of this live. That's what he's doing. Give a shit. Who says anything about a damn boxing ring? You all about, oh, pull 50, 50 bikers deep and all throw hands. My, my address has been out there for a while. I just did it myself the other day. Okay, you'll be boxing yourself. Talk all what shit. I'm t- I feel like I'm getting right off track a little bit. And do I look at least bit scared? There ain't a human, there ain't a man on this planet I'm afraid of. Am I the bad, baddest motherfucker on this planet? No, I never claim to be. But I ain't afraid of no motherfucker either. 
I've had my ass whipped many, many a times. But I ain't afraid to throw hands with anybody. I don't back down from nobody. I get my ass whipped, I get my ass whipped. But you're going to know you're going to be using a damn fight. What you going to do? Jump me two, three, four, five, fifty on at one? Are you one of those, are you one of those dog? You one of those dog? Are you one of those dog? You had to jump motherfucker two, three, four on one dog? Huh, dog? Wanna go there, dog? Speak some fucking English, dude. I ain't your fucking dog, dog. Is that all you have to say? Because I'm screenshot. I'm feeling a little bit threatened. I'm kind of shaking. Keep going. I'm just waiting for you to say one thing and I can get you. I'm not court. I'm I'm bad mama 2.0. R.I.P. Maya Kaloe. You're the one that talked on my babies and being racist. Are you mad? Are you mad? You went getting my five year old and my grandson and my daughter and all you have to do is say that's all you know how to do. If you was that, if you was the real man, the real one you say you are. Come to me man to man. Quit beating around the bush. Quit talking, quit making these raps and make and talk about my children and my grandchildren. And come to me man to man. Oh wait, you don't hit females, but you're friends with someone that hits females. Make it make sense. I do believe he was 17, the female was 14, and um he hit a minor. Uh, a child who's 14. Go back to the studio. You want to talk? Will you talk about my flat ass and help me get, you know, get my butt back together where it needs to be? Because oh, I just need a little advice. <laughs> no, you want to hide behind these these wraps and talk crap about my kids, my Are grandkids, you, my actually, five year old. Actually, there is proof of evidence. So you're sticking up for a grape is cool. Hang out with the motherfucker. Hang out. Hang out with them. But again, y'all. Y'all need to worry about them three kids that's in the house with the grapists. Not kids are actually getting taken care of. I can actually lay down in my bed, you know, peacefully with my husband, you know, the man that don't hit me. But everybody said he does. And I said I he did. The man's never hit me. Oh, he's your boy? What, you gonna shove it up his bing bong too? Hey, at least I ain't hanging out with no grapists. That's all I got to say. Again, y'all worry about them three kids living in the house with a grapist. And beats on his wife, but I'm sorry. You think who's cute? Ew, you think a grapist is cute? You're so disgusting. I bet you you got skeletons in your closet, too. What's up, the ghost of Jerry Springer? R.I.P. Jerry Springer, I miss you, homie. He is a grapist. Facts was proven. And he relapsed, and he used to sell methamphetamines. Um, I keep going. He beats on his wife. Um, when the whole shit happened, I do recall... Lindsay giving the kids that she has that ain't his over to him to see him after he did what he did to Lindsay. Mm, I wouldn't do that. No, it's not false. We actually have screenshots of Lindsay saying that to somebody. 
and she had to go get checked out. If my husband ever put his hands on me, bye. He knows. My husband won't even do anything to trigger off my past. He won't even yell at me, even if I'm yelling at him. I modded for Kanisha a very long time ago. Yes, yes, that is me. We're, we're supposed to be on topic of Grapus, not uh, Kanisha. Oh, I ain't got room to talk then. Oh, I guess so. But guess what? I'm going to keep talking. But you did say you're going to pull up at people's Addy. So, like, can you give me a time? When to be outside? Yeah, this live ain't about Kanisha. Oh, trust me. I'm going to be one doing one. Trust me. Believe that. But not this one. Please tell me when the last time I have ever doxed anybody because, to be honest, I don't pay attention to people like that. You know how many times I got to ask my friends, hey, I have, what's wait, your minute, wait a minute, Marie, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tell me one time who I've ever doxed. On the, what, two years I've been on this, on this app? Go back one time, one time. Tell me one person besides myself. Which dox people all the doxed. time? Which dox people all the time? But I've never doxed people because, to be honest, I don't really give a fuck who's staying where. I don't. Tell me one person I've ever went on here and give their their address, phone number, anything. And he gives out phone numbers. One time. Oh, Lindsay, I know you ha you have my old number. That ain't my number no more. Hi, so you Sharon. can dox my number. <laughs> I want to see that proof. Go ahead. I, 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 I implore you. I dare you. Please enlighten me. Because there is none. I promise you. Because I never have. The only person I ever done that with was my own shit. You do? You got the recordings? Okay. Bring them to me. Please. Please bring them to me. I'm begging you, please bring him to me. The paperwork was checked. Their if address was never if shown. If so technically, your, that is not the same fucking thing. Boxing. Oh, I got recordings that you done this. Or I got recordings you done that. And I've been begging him for fucking months to bring me recordings that he supposedly fucking got and not seen a single he's a goddamn fucking solitary fucking one of them. And an so abuser. come on, bring the goddamn recordings. Bring the fucking recordings. Please, I'm begging you. We talk you. on him. He's been going and fucking going and harassing young ass females all the fucking time. He abuses his motherfucking wife and he's a fucking grapist. Read, bitch. Open up your fucking eyes, bitch. Oh, you got me. I'm shaking in my boots. Mommy, he got me, bro. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Get me. Please tell me where I've ever doxed anybody. Please, I'm begging you. Rich Burks also beats his little bit too, so. Y'all abusers. Nasty little. Mm. Don't, don't drop the soap. If you ever get caught, don't drop the soap. Like I said, please, please, it's like, I, I'm begging you just like I begged Eddie, please bring me that information, please bring me that, that receipts, as you want to call them, please, I'm begging you. And like, and, and like you guys or other people, if there is, which I know there's not, 
But if there is, I'll eat my fucking words. You ain't gonna and have I'll, it on I'll, me. I'll actually, I'll actually take accountability and admit my mistake. You ain't but I'm telling you right there, there's not any, any because I've never doxed a single person except for myself. Not me. Because I don't pay attention. I don't screen record. I don't screenshots. I don't do none of that. So I don't. Neither do I. I don't screen record. I don't. None of that shit. The only person I've ever recorded, and I was just saying this today, the only person I've ever, ever recorded from here while I was online or while I was on live was Kyle. And he knew it because I told him I was recording. See, I don't understand. Or, 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 or I was on the phone with him and on live so people can hear. So they, so I had, I'd have witnesses when he, when I was talking to him that way, he couldn't go back and say, oh, my dad said this or my dad said that and lie on me. And that was the only reason. And that's the only person I've ever done that with. Ever. And only because, and it was only because recording. I him, and I didn't believe him. That's it. Anybody else? I've never done it to. Ever. I have no reason to. I'm not that kind of person. I don't, because I, for one, I just don't give two shit. I really, honest to God, don't. Oh, it's not Corey. It's uh, Bad Mama 2.0. RIP. Please get my account back. <laughs> I still, you I still don't think you guys get the fucking hint. There is three kids in a house with a grapist. So come on, you got to prove, bring it, bring it, please. I'm waiting. Tick tock. Yeah, I had a message tap. My son, while you get it, I'll be here all fuck. I'll be here for the next twenty years until you get it because there ain't nothing. I ain't bringing shit to you. I don't give a fuck if you believe me or if you don't fucking believe me. Go hang out with your grapists. But you need to worry about them three fucking kids. Not worry about my kids. Because my kids are healthy, happy, and I take care of every single fucking kid. Even the ones that aren't biological of mine. But I take care of them. Always have been for a couple years now. And to be clarified, I don't got 100 kids, baby dolls. I got 11. So do your math. And oh, you uh, you want you want to go on and say that I have, I think she I think he was on that one rap saying that I had fucking dozens of kids. Court remove, remove court. I'll be back. Yeah, you got a violation. I got I got dozens of kids, and you're right, I do. Not biological, but I do. I've got six biological. I've got three stepkids. And I've got dozens of adopted kids that's adopted me as their dad. Why? I don't know. I, actually, I don't know. You tell me why. Because apparently I'm, this, I'm such a bad person and I'm such a bad father. And I'm living in a ghetto, as you call it. So I'm such a bad father. Why would anybody want to adopt me as their father and have me as a role model, right? So you ask them. I'm sure they'd be more glad to come in and tell you. If I'm such a bad person and such a bad father, why would I have all these... All these kids out here calling me dad and coming to me for advice on life things. Since I'm such a bad dad, right? And I'm such a bad person. I'm such a bad man. I'm such a piece of garbage. Hmm. Makes you kind of wonder, right?
You should have let yourself up. You're a super mod, Goofy. It won't let me. <laughs> oh, um, Court, I'm sorry, but if I mess up one more time, your cow is officially banned. So I gotta be, I gotta be a good person. I know, I have to be nice. Yeah, be a good girl. Candy. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, no, so, okay, Amber, my apologies. That's not the Amber I thought you were. Violet, they just don't like you. I know, right? And all my, three of my kids are half white, half Mexican. I know, right? I can't stand that bitch. They'll be. You stand up pride with your babies, Candy, and your husband. I would say something, but it would definitely get this shit banned. I'll type it in the chat. Andy, you gotta read my message, bro. <laughs> That shit was funny. David, did you see it? What? The message in the rejects group. No. <laughs> Don't say it out loud. You're awful. I love you, but you're awful. It's true facts. A lot of a lot of females can have my back on this. Hold on, let me, Violet. I'm gonna request your ass. Follow back. 
I requested you, so accept the invite, please. Thanks, bitch. Oh my gosh, Tabby. See, I would give you my account, but RIP Bad Mama 2.0. See, I need to somehow hack into my husband's account so I can have that as a backup. Because he doesn't remember his shit. I swear. Men. <sighs> Sorry, David. Tabby, shut the hell up. I'll tell you what, it makes you beep. I'm in heaven. Just 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 stop. On oh, hip hop production, you went by. I miss you, buddy. Bray cooks and cleans for that thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one that does the cooking and the cleaning. Oh, he probably got butt hurt, just like Grapus. He butt hurt too. I'm still waiting on this so-called Evans why off somebody. Ow. Fuck. Yeah, same. Hey, Dave, I got a question. Does not give you creep vibes when people talk on your kids? That, and it pisses me the fuck off. Especially when... It, they do that, my kids and my grand, now my grandkids. Especially when somebody called gay hip hop productions and they're talking about little boys. That's like chomo vibes for me. I don't know, you guys should ask uh, Grapus, he should know. So this will be the last time we talk about this. If you guys want to make um, uh, raps about it, keep going. We'll just keep screen recording. Um, do whatever you got to do. But this will be my last time ever talking about it. David, David went where? <laughs> well, it's the truth. I mean, think about it. It's called Gay... Hip hop productions, and he keeps putting little boys in it. He keeps putting my son Junior in it, and now my grandson. When he said Kirkland Junior, in it, and talking about my kids, who's five, and the other yeah. one is seven months old. That's a little. That, that's a little creepish. Pretty disgusting. No, let's let's say what it is. That's a lot freaking creepish. Right? Oh, they like them young. And they like to beat on their wife.
they like to do drugs, but want to talk about me and my kids doing drugs. Nah. Nah. I seen that shit growing up. I'm good. See, I really like my face and my body. You know what I mean? Just saying. And, and I like to be alive, so... Oh, where is all the grapest friends at? Oh, he left so he can make another um, rap. Hey, don't forget about my flat ass, right, okay? Do what? I told him, don't forget about my fat, my flat ass, okay? Because <laughs> we can be flat together, Candy. It's okay. Flat butt champion. He's in the studio, y'all. Watch out, he's in the studio. Probably. You're gonna keep talking about kids because what, you a chomo? Disgusting. It matters to me because my kids were brought up. And exactly. I would defend my kids no matter what. I don't care what anybody got to say. I'm not gonna listen to anybody that tells me differently. But I will just keep saying this, keep going, and I'll wait for you to mess up one time just so I can get your ass. I'm flat and I'm proud too. It's okay. I know, I'm just saying, if I sound shitty, I'm not, I'm just sick. <clears throat> Yeah, they were making racist comments because three of my kids are um, half white, half Mexican. And then they judge them because they like nuggets. Well, he called them nuggets. About my kids and my son, Junior, and then mentioned my grandson. Because they like to uh, come for people that know that they'll get upset when their kids get mentioned. To be honest, this is an app. I'm not going to get upset about it. You want to keep talking on my kids, bro, go for it. The time's a ticking. At the end of the day, I can still lay in my bed um, peacefully because my kids are well taken care of. Um, people threaten to come to our house, pull up any time. It don't matter. Um... They're saying they're going to get bikers on us. Uh, go for it. I'm shaking in my damn boots. Um, you know, same old, same old. They're just trying to get a rise because a uh, grapist got called out and he don't like it. A reminder, y'all, three kids are in a house with a grapist that abuses his wife. So instead of worrying about what we be doing, y'all really need to be worrying about the bigger picture here. But that's on y'all. Oh, he's back. Probs. He's probably helping him in the studio. They both in the studio, you know, thinking Chomo vibes together. Who knows? I don't know.
or, you know, I can't really talk on other people and what they've been through because that's just not me. Okay, I, why you gotta call me out like that? Damn, he was a snitch. So you got charges against your son, huh, David? Huh? First of all, you really? don't know what happened. Second of all, you're just trying to get a rise out of him and he's not going to. Third of all, don't worry about it. Fourth of all, Junior's happy. Shit happens, bro. But trust me, he has uh, cameras in his room now. We saw him put him up. Um, all that. So shit happens, you know. Oh, wow, you got your connections, homie. Like, I care, homie. Like I said, I'm not your homie, homie. Come to me as a man, as a human, as a adult, homie. I'm a person. I'm, a ho I'm an adult. I'm a whole-ass adult. I can talk to street lingo, too, homie. I am from the hood, dummy. Homie. I am from the hood, dummy. Homie. But I, 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 I prefer to talk like an intelligent human being. <clears throat> but yes, my son had an accident. Yes, he fell out the window. It's not, nothing, nothing I've hid. Yes, I tried to keep it off the app because I didn't think it was the whole world. I didn't think it was the whole world's business. But. My son's ex and them decided to throw it out there, so I came live about it when I had when that happened, and I put it out there. Yes, he had an accident. He fell through his window going after his cat. You know who, who cares if you him. find out about him? Oh, he, no, he's not hiding nothing. Let's not react. That's Ashley, what they want. Hold on, minute, baby, hold hold on, hold on Ashley. Sorry. I don't want you. In, I don't want you involved. The last thing I honestly, Ashley, because you're David's child. I wish you would jump off out the box because I don't need them coming after you and yeah, they've already come after her, but it don't matter. But anyways, let's you want to go there? Let's go there. But anyways, he went through his window. It was eight o'clock in the morning. I was asleep. He's nine times out of ten, he is asleep. It was a pure accident. Thought I wasn't gonna find out about you. Find out what about me. I I put dude. Where have you been? I was just trying to you think you, you you say you know all about me and you watch me and you do this and you do that, but obviously you don't know what you think you know because just the other night or just the other day I put my entire history out here. Ashley, I came live and told everything because I have nothing to hide. Never have, never will. I've told all my felonies. Everything I've ever been in trouble for. I have nothing to hide. I don't give two shits, dude. So obviously, you 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 thinking you're exposing that is bothering me? No, not in the least, because it's already been out there. It was a pure accident, one hundred percent pure accident. Yes, the police got involved. Yes, DCFS got involved. Yes, DCFS was still involved. Yes, I have went to court. Yes, no. The drop, yes, the charges are dropped, are being dropped. All I'm doing is taking, all I have to do is take parenting classes. You want to see the paperwork? All I have to do is find the paperwork. All I got to do is find the, 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 the thing that I got from the court. The, court, the, state, the attorney. I don't know where's that, where it's at right now. I think it's upstairs, actually. Actually, actually, I'll be right back. You want to see it? I have no problem showing it. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Don't forget to mute. Oh, he didn't mute. Hold on, maybe I can mute him. Oh, no, never mind. I can't mute him. <laughs> you know how many times people threw that in his face? Come on, find something new, honey. We're waiting. Right? No matter what you say, Viley, he's going to do it. Throwing him over the edge again. 
I'm just waiting for company to come to my house. I'm bored. And you don't know everything about Kyle. So. David, don't show nothing that could blast you. I don't give a shit. I've already blasted it. Let's see. Right there, dude. Right there. Can you read? Are you smart enough to read that? Or should I read it to you? I'll read it to you. In an effort to avoid both child endangerment conviction and a future possibility of a JA, whatever the hell JA is, would Mr. Livingston be willing to complete parenting courses in exchange for a dismissal after completion? So all I do is I take parenting class, which I start next week. Since I gotta start get those completed, charges were dismissed. So now what do you got? Smart Alec? I got something. My ass is flat and I'm mad. Breathe. <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> now what do you got, Smart Alec? Come on, bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Please bring it. Like I said, I have nothing on it. Because obviously, if they thought for one second that I maliciously did something to my child, for one, I wouldn't have him. And two, they sure in the hell wouldn't be giving me that. How would they? No. And yes, I live in a crappy ass house. So what? I don't know what actually. But we are moving me. as soon as possible. We're trying to find a place, and they're helping us do that. We got somebody helping us do that as well. Life sucks. Life ain't a fucking life ain't a bed of fucking chocolates and rainbows. People ain't everybody ain't made of fucking mil, uh, uh, money. What the fuck? Just move on with your life. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care who you are, what walk of life you come from, how much money you got. There ain't a person on this planet better than the other. We all put. We all wake up and put our pants on one leg at a time. We all sit on our toilet and shit comes out our ass the same way. <laughs> Not me. I don't do that. It all stinks. It's plain and simple. We all came in this world naked. We're all going to go out of it naked. We all came in this world with nothing. We're all going to go out with nothing. Amen. I'm so sick to death of so, all, these, all, all these people, you included, Mr. Gay Rap Parodies, trying to judge motherfuckers. Because of the shit they got or shit they ain't got. Or what they look like. The house they live in. The car they drive or don't drive. The neighborhood they live in. That's the or don't live thing. in. Oh, sorry. like you. It's people like you that make this country unbearable to other people. And it's insane to me. Absolutely, positively insane. It's people like you 
that put people down, that made people want to go out here and unalive themselves. Because you're wanting to constantly put people down for what they have, what they don't have, what what they should have, and what they look like, or what they don't look like, or whatever. And make them feel like crap about themselves. Well, let me tell you something, pal. There ain't nobody on this planet. Nobody. That could do that to me. Not anymore. I've lived it. When I say I'm a survivor, that's just not a catchphrase. That's just not a funny innuendo I use for myself. I mean that. I've been downgraded told I'm no good, told I'll never mount to anything, told I'm, I'm stupid, I'm ugly, I'm fat, I'm lazy, I'm, I'm the most worthless piece of garbage on the planet, I should have never been born, everything you can think of. By the one person, and all this by the one person, that should have been protecting me and raising me up the most in my life. My own father. And if I could survive that and become the father I am, which, by the way, is a damn good father, if you ask me. Yes, you are. Then there ain't nothing or no one that could ever tear me down or tell me different. But like I said, it's people like you that make people want to question themselves and unalive themselves. Because there's nobody like I like I said, there's nobody there ain't one person on one person better than the other on this planet. I don't give a damn what you have, how much money you have, where you live, what you drive. That don't make you a better person. And if you think it does, that don't make you a better person. That makes you a stuck up, rich, insecure, snob. And I feel sorry for you people. I feel sorry. I honestly feel sorry for people like you. Because instead of seeing the beauty in people and the good in people and the beauty in life, you're more worried about, oh, what can I get next? What's this next, the next, the best, uh, the best iPhone, the next best iPhone, the next best car, the next best house, the next best this that I can get and show off to, to the world, to my friends, to my family, to this person, to that person, to make them feel better or to make them feel worse about themselves. When all reality, yeah, I can't. you're doing it to, to make up for your insecurities. Whether you want to believe it or admit it or not. So go ahead. Come at me with whatever you want to come at me with. It doesn't mean a damn thing to me. Because I know who I am. I know what kind of person I am. And more importantly, my true family, my true friends, my true family know who I am and what kind of person I am, what kind of father I am, what kind of friend I am. And that's all that matters to me. At the end of the day, that's all that matters to me. Plain and simple.
Exactly, Sharon. Guess what? No. This will be the last time we talk about this. So if you got anything to say, say it. Because this is the last time I'm talking about this. Y'all want to go hang out with the grapist, go for it. But remember, worry about them three three kids that's in a house with the grapist. Where's my new man? Girl, quit playing. Oh, you guys gonna get married? He is amazing. Coming from his first born. Oh, You know, they just mad because everything's going out in public now and they don't want it out in public when it needs to be. But, y'all, it's about to be 3 o'clock my time and I still got to wake up with the babies. So I'm going to jump down. Remember, y'all, three kids are in a house with a... He's a grapist and he beats on his wife. So, like, get it together, y'all. Okay. But this is very talking about it so good night <coughs> good night Bree. good night Bree. love you where's the new check i've been checking every like two seconds <laughs> What's uh, bro got to say about it? I know it's gotten hurt from him. That's kind of worried. Yeah, he probably peeled. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks, Cheryl. Yeah, I sent a mom, mom a message, and she gonna, she gonna wake up in the morning and see it. <laughs> Ain't gonna be pretty. Especially uh, if old gay hip-hop production makes another one tonight. Like I said, keep it up. You know, Pastor Pay's gonna have a heyday with you, gay old hi uh, gay hip hop. He gonna have a field day with you. Guarantee he will go live tomorrow, and he will drag you through the mud. And I'm just going to sit back and laugh. All right. 
and saying, and, and, I, and I'm going, and I'm, I'm, I'm certainly going to say, I told you so. We'll come on here and we'll go, I told you so. I, I, I told you so. How's the kitten's eyes doing, Dad? They seem to be doing okay. Are they biting your feet? <laughs> no, they're in the farm. I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> Otherwise, they would be. <coughs> God, it's allergy season. Really has nothing else to say. They are kitten nail those kitten about that that age, I swear, they are like freaking like needles and razor blades. That's that that's why if I like when I uh lived with Brenda and them uh when I was younger. Uh that's why uh when they had Leah and all, uh, Leah and Tiger the kit kittens and stuff. So I kept them out of my room because I knew if they would go in my room at night when I was sleeping, they attacked my feet in the blankets. And that hurt. <laughs> I'm like, nope, you getting out of my room tonight. <laughs> Hi, Desi. Funny, I, I come up and nothing happens. <laughs> Are they scared? Yes, they are so cute. I wish they stay kittens forever. But without the claws and teeth. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Without the sharp claws and teeth. Yeah, sixty eight viewers in here. <coughs> I 
Ну, Me. I'm me. It's quiet. Yes, it is. It's not quiet. It's too quiet. Oh, Violet is back. She liked the live. We can't box. Oh, let me. Whoa. Well, that's weird. I'm not a mod on here. Oh, this is a different count. Yeah, I'm not a mod on this count. On this. You should be. No, not on my backup account on this live for you. Well, let's just fix that shit. <laughs> That's like, let's fix that shit. It could be fixed right now. It is fixed right now. It is fixed. Yep, it says Ashley Marie has added a moderator. Or been added as a moderator. There we go. I invited her. I don't know if I'll let her on, but I invited her. Mama Tracy's in here? Who? Mama T. Oh. Or Tracy. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, she's watching. They're all watching. <laughs> Not watching. This ain't saying nothing. I'm not better. Mama Bear. Bear's in here. Hey, y'all. Fucking battery pack here is already dead. So I need to go get my fucking charging. Don't die. Or don't, don't, don't yeah. I, I, I restate right my, back. retract my statement. Be right back. Ugh. Oh my, I the black one. <laughs> we're watching, we're watching the door. <laughs> Okay. Please hold. Hi, <laughs> Wanda Wanda. Yeah, we never seen a box somewhere, Wanda. Mama T, I'm sorry what happened to you to y'all today. This should have never happened. Like this is this stuff's gotta like I feel sorry oh. for you. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry for all y'all today. <coughs> Wanda Wanda. To Wanda as Violet says, to Wanda. To Wanda? 
The wonder, 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 wonder. I wonder when Wanda's coming back. <laughs> I wonder, 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 wonder. I wonder when the wonder, wonder, wonder. <laughs> stay. I, oh. I said stay. We fell. <laughs> you dropped us. Well, I'm trying to get to the stand up on its charger, but. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't have to actually hold I it. I love you, Wanda. <laughs> we love our magic, Wanda. Mm. Auntie Wanda. We need helmets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. If he keeps dropping us. Just just don't lick the windows. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna be on them short buttons. Or, or lick the windows. <laughs> <laughs> we we gonna be on one of them short uh, on my on my short on my short best, go ahead and lick the windows because the snozberry tastes like snozberries. <laughs> Ew, I would hate to taste those windows. <laughs> I'd really hate to taste those windows. You never know what's been on them. I didn't think about that. I don't know if it works. I don't know if it'll oh, work. There we go getting dropped again. I don't know if it'll work upside down, what? We upside down. I, I, I flipped. I flipped upside down, but when I flipped, I'm I'm right side up, but everything else is upside down. Comments and all. I can't read upside down. You're upside <laughs> down, Dad. Not to me. I'm not. To me, I'm right side up. Well, it's all of us. You're, you're upside, upside down. You're, up, you're upside down. All the comments are upside down, but <laughs> well, to us, you're upside down. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that ain't. That's not gonna work. <laughs> Oh, did you get dizzy there? Did all the blood rush to your brain, Dad? I know what I'm going to do. I might, I might do it like I normally used to do it. Let's see here. Ha! Ah. Hey, well, I can't do it that way. I don't care. I thought I had an idea, but <laughs> it ain't going to work either. <laughs> That would only work like that. That would only work if the cup, if this cup hat was empty, it was, had a hole at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not. I, no. <laughs> Just came up with another idea. Um, I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, that's 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 not good for me. I know you. that's a scary thought. Yeah, that's a, that's a scary thought. If you're thinking. Don't you Watch see, out, smoke, guys, don't you see smoke coming out my ears? <laughs> oh yeah, I see. I see your. I see your uh, wheels turning there. Um, They're smoking. A tripod, lol. I don't think I he has a tripod. I, I really need one. I really, really do. Like I really, seriously need a tripod. <laughs> Who has the money for that? Either a tripod or a selfie stick. One of the two. Selfie stick. Uh, let's see here. This is going to work or not. I'm trying, guys. Give me a minute. Oh, we're moving around. Five below. Oh, they probably five below. do that. What's five below? Tri they, I think they have tripods or selfie sticks at Five Below. I forgot about Five Below. Thank you. Hey, that works. <laughs> Took five can five can cans of canned goods, but hey, it works. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, you got to figure something out. Hey, it works. <laughs> With ring lights. Oh yeah, yeah, here? yeah! I know, I know what you're talking about. I, there, it's the hell would well, I need a ring light? It's one of those tripods that has the ring light around it. Yeah, but why, why, why would I need a ring light? Just in case you're in the dark, it makes it brighter. I can so turn all the to, fucking light. I, then I can turn a lot of the fucking lights on. Yeah, off, but... you don't have to have all your lights on. <laughs> Save your power. <laughs> Save your electric bill. There you go. 
I got you. They have them at Walmart. I don't know what. I don't know how much it is at Walmart. That's all we have around here is Walmarts and dollar stores. Yeah. Walmart. We got one more. Two, we, we one more. I'll say we got Walmart, Dollar General, Dollar General. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What's that? What's that new one out here? Dollar General. A dollar Family. No. Family Dollar. Dollar General. Like, I think it's Dollar General. Oh, uh, Dollar Mart or something. It's Dollar General's uh, supermarket or something like that. Cause yeah. it's actually got, cause it's actually got food and stuff, like actual food and stuff, and like produce. Yes, we got Dollar Tree too. Then we got Dollar Tree. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Dollar General Market. <laughs> yeah, Dollar General Market. <clears throat> Sorry, um, I, I swear it's just allergies. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> That's basically it, Dad. I think that's basically it, other than, <laughs> other than like, gas stations and yeah. um, fast food restaurants. Coffee shops. <laughs> Coco, why are you barking at? Shut up. Yeah, they have, they have, they should have cheap, yeah, they have cheap ones. <laughs> or Timu. I don't get nothing on Timu. I really don't like getting stuff offline because last thing I got offline, like literally the last thing I bought off of a website, which was, uh, I think it was, um, what, did I get, what site was it? I can't remember what the hell the site was. But it was these cases for the phones. And I even got, did the... I bet the, those phone cases suck though. <laughs> Actually, they're nice. They're actually nice cases. I just can't figure out because it's got this screen here on the side here that's supposed to you can supposed to be able to like the like it's got a QR code that you're supposed to be able to download and when you shut your shut the shut the case you're supposed to be able to touch this and scroll through shit. But I've never done that because I just I could never figure the fucking thing out. <laughs> but, but I I did when I ordered them. I did the quickest, uh, I did the quickest, put in for the quickest uh, delivery, like the overnight delivery, so I, cause I, so I pay like $13 for that. Fuck, I didn't get the damn things for almost, I think it was almost a month. So I don't like getting shit offline. Cause it always takes forever for me to get them. Well, I don't see a new one out yet, so. But I guarantee you, once we get ready to go to bed, when we get up in the morning, there'll be a new one. Just like I said last night. Or the other, yeah, oh, last boy. night. How is that overnight, LOL? What? That's what I'm saying. How is it? How's that overnight? When it took a damn near a fucking month to get them. I, I didn't think I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think I was going to get them. And then I was going to order me the earbuds I got, um, which is these. Um, they're actually really nice ones. They actually don't go in your ear; they go over your ear. I got these. At I need to get one of those. I got these at Walmart for forty bucks, but they had them nice. on. That, I think it was pretty much the same side I got the cases on, but they had them on there for like twenty bucks. And I was going to order once after I got the cases. I was going to order the earbuds, but when it took me so damn long to get the freaking cases, I said the hell with it. I'm not going to order the earbuds. I was going to freaking Walmart and pay the extra twenty dollars and get the damn getting things for Walmart. <laughs> Where did you order them off of? Amazon? Uh, I want to say... 
It's on my Facebook. If you go to my Facebook and go to like the thing I sh the the post I shared and scroll through there, you'll you'll see the cases and you'll see the you'll see the um actually hang on a minute. And probably go to it now. And go to my profile. Hang on a second. Because if it, was, if it was Amazon, yeah, Amazon takes forever to even give you your stuff. I don't know if it was Amazon or what. Uh, you see, these are the these are the earbuds that I was going to get off of. They're almost they're not identical to the ones I got in my pocket, but they're pretty close. Yeah. And these, are, these are like twenty bucks. These ones were, and then. These are the cases I got right here, and it's uh, what side is it? Um, please, please, nagged. I think. Oh, I don't know. Let me let me see if I can pull it up. Yeah, it's called it's called plus <laughs> plus nag. P L P L E S. N A G. That's why it's pulling up. You can see that. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's. And they was they was cheap. They was only that only cost me. Because I got a coupon form to offer, so it only cost me for the cases themselves. It only cost me. For the for two of them, I think it was only. Like. Right around thirty, I think. But for the overnight shipping and all that stuff, for the quickest shipping, it was the extra. Like I said, the extra thirteen bucks. So it some only places, some all, places all together, lie and they like take all, all together. All together, it was. Uh, all together, it was like right about. It was right. It was forty. Forty eight. Something or forty nine something, right? Just <laughs> under fifty bucks. Total price forty nine ninety five. Like I said, after damn near taking. I'm almost a month to get the damn things. I said, and I wasn't going to try to get the hair earbuds, so I just went to freaking Walmart and bought these ones for forty. <laughs> now, I like these ones, like it's it's because these ones it, it they stay charged. You can wear them for they stay charged for the first time for like once you once you charge the case fully charge the case, you can wear them. And I think it stays charged like that, like seven hours, and then put them back in the case, and the case recharges them again without actually charging the case. Yeah. So. See, I had I had some of the, they're like pink ones, but uh, like my kids got into them. And, and like I said, them. I like them because they don't oh. actually go. I like them because they don't actually go inside the ear like normal buds. They sit out outside the ear, yeah. and are comfortable. And they got really good sound. Well, I liked my pink ones. It's just, well, I don't have them no more because my kids wanted to get into them and said, oh, let's get into them and lose them for mommy. So I don't have them no more. <laughs> Try I find them. Which is probably... I just, I, 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 just can't, I just can't do the earbuds in the ears anymore because I just... For one, the ones that I had it was actually went in the ears, they kept wanting to fall out and... Oh, I'm 61 viewers in here. <laughs> Ow, my back. Oh, God. <sighs> Ow. <sighs> Okay. 
Yes, sister. Hello. You and your cricket. Hi, bye, bye. I can't help it. <laughs> cricket, cricket, cricket. See the crickets. It's either cr it's either crickets, cicadas, or whatever the hell they're called, or wind chimes. <laughs> it's always <Yeah>. something. <laughs> Just let it put you to sleep. Think of it as like an ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The what? You got the train going in the background too. You don't hear it. Uh uh. I don't hear the train. Hey, Wanda. Wanda! To Wanda! <clears throat> Aunt Wanda. This is so fucked up. So I'm, I have Jacob's phone, and I'm modding for David on that one, on my new account, but I can't get in the box. <laughs> and then I'm talking to David through Messenger on my phone. How many followers have you even got? I don't freaking know. Half of them are bots. Hold on. I can tell you. It's like it's She has 280 followers. I don't understand why you can't get a box because Ashley's only got, was that 100 and was able to box with it? With, 100, 102. <laughs> so I, I, that makes no sense. Well, it's probably because the majority of my followers are bots. That might, I, that, I don't know, that might have something to do with it. I don't know. Well, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bye-bye. We know it sucks because you want to get in here and you want to go off on people. We know. Well, I think I did that enough for all of us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just wait till tomorrow or t later on today. <laughs> But what I said a while ago, it needed to be said. Oh, yeah. It's just, it, 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 it man, and it's a God honest truth. Well, you know, I'm going to say this. We all know who it is because you can't say it's not Eddie or Lindsay because, you know, they just fair fighted on TikTok tonight. So, I mean, if you go through what they commented and stuff like that, no, they that gay hip hop, that, that gay hip hop is not Eddie or it's not Eddie or Lindsay. Oh, well, I it have somebody, it, it is somebody they know. It, it is somebody, it, I guarantee it, it is somebody they know. Yeah. It's somebody we all know. Yeah. I was told, I was told who it was. I know exactly who it is. Oh, well. <laughs> hmm. Which actually I mean, really, surprised, which actually, which actually really surprised me because he was actually really nice to me for, in fact, for the longest time, he was actually helping me out, giving me information about what Kanisha was doing to Kyle and, and shit like that. So it just fucking blows my fucking mind that he's, but okay. Is there somebody that hasn't been on here in a while because we don't ever talk to him anymore? Like, Do what? Is somebody that's been hasn't been on our live for a while because we don't even talk to him much anymore. I don't know. I mean, the last time we the last time we talked to him was before me and Corey went on our anniversary. Anyways, what was you saying, Violet? David, just because people offer you advice with Kyle or talk shit about Kanisha with you in lives or offer to help you with something or try to give you pointers doesn't make them good people because, I, you know, when it all comes down to it, you really don't Hi, know you, who sir. you're fucking with on this app, who you're truly friends with, who you associate with, and that is, that's absolutely terrifying, and I'm so thankful that I have the tight-knit little circle that I have. I am not going to go out of my way to talk to people on the staff anymore or try to even get to know them or make friends. After all the shit that has unfolded this weekend, never again. And the things that they are doing, whenever it comes to speaking on children, they're using things that 
or a sensitive topic to you that they know are going to hit you where it hurts. That's what they want. They want you to go ballistic. They want you to go live and, and cuss and scream and yell because it's funny to them. It's funny to them. And, you know, for people to bring kids into it, deceased people into it, even animals into it, that shows me what kind of person they are. I don't need to know anything else about you. That right there shows your true demeanor of who you are as a person, and that is a shitty human being. Yep. They're racist and... Yeah. The thing is, I really didn't go off off. I really didn't. Not really. It could have been worse. It could have been a hundred <laughs> times worse than what I did. In fa they're, they're fat shaming people? That's not right. Well, I'm just going to say this. I've done my fair share of fat shaming one specific person on this app. So, you know, for, for my weight to be made fun of, for people to fat shame me and body shame me, it is what it is. Like, I'm not going to go sit and cry about it. I know I'm not the prettiest rose in the fucking batch or in the garden. I am a heavy set girl. And so, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, keep, keep making fun of how I need Weight Watchers, how I steal Twinkies, how I need a fucking breathing machine. Go ahead. Cause it's not affecting me. But whenever you bring kids and deceased people and innocent parties into it, again, that just shows me what kind of person you are. And that shows your whole demeanor. I don't want to fuck with people like that. And I will stand up against people like that. Well, I ain't gonna shut up about it, so... <laughs> they can keep going. I'm gonna say what I want to say, because it's a free country. I can say what I want to say. And they can't do nothing about it. Yes, they may nanner people and uh, flag people, but it's a free country. You can say what you want to say. Until until somebody makes it not a free country, which I doubt they're going to make it not a free country, then so be it. Mm, yeah. And so many so many people find uh, overweight people attractive. Overweight people have people that love them the way they are. It's not gonna. I mean. Whenever you become my friend, or whenever I'm in a relationship with you, looks don't matter to me. It's about your soul, it's about who you are as a person. And. <laughs> Your looks don't make you ugly. Your personality and your soul does. Exactly. Yep. I, and I've agree. always said that. I've I always agree. Been, I've always been that kind of person that looks has never mattered to me. Like, ever. A person's looks has never mattered to me. It's what's on the inside that matters to me. It's what their heart is. It's their heart and how they treat people. <sighs> That's what matters to me. If you've got a good heart, if you if you treat people right, if you treat people good, if you treat people with respect, and you and you're kind to people, and you've got a good heart, then to me you're a beautiful person. If you got an ugly heart and you treat people bad and you treat people ugly, then you can be the most god awful, beautiful, most gorgeous person on this planet. But if you treat people ugly, you treat people bad, you treat people, you know, just god awful, then in my eyes, you're the most ugliest person on this planet. I don't care. You, it, it doesn't, outside appearance does not matter to me. It's what's on the inside that matters. And that's and how like, it should be. And like I said, like I said a while ago, there ain't one person on this. There ain't one person on this planet that's better than the other. I don't care what kind of, it, people that's out there is worried about 
you know, what kind of car you drive, what kind of house you live in, what kind of neighborhood you live in, and blah, blah, blah. Or, and it's worried about getting the, the newest, the newest iPhone or the newest car or the newest house and the newest this and the newest that just to show it off. Honestly, I feel sorry for those people because deep down, yeah, they're doing it, they're doing it to show off and they're doing it to try to make people that can't afford that shit feel bad. And a lot of the times it works. It really does. But at the end of the day, deep down, it's a reflection on who they truly are. They're, they're doing it to make themselves feel better because deep down they feel terrible about themselves. So they've, they've got to spend all this money to get the newest this or the newest that or the nicest this or the nicest that to try to make themselves, you know, they're possessed. They think their possessions makes them a better person or, or their best person or blah, blah, blah. And it doesn't. Like I said, we can't. We all, we all came into this world with nothing. We're all gonna go out of this world with nothing. And we all get up, get up, and put our pants pants on the same way, one leg at a freaking time. We all go in there and take a shit, and it, and it stinks. I mean, it, there is no person on this planet better than the next. Exactly, Amanda. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what kind of car you drive or if you have a car. It doesn't matter what kind of house you live in or or home you got. It doesn't matter what kind of, how much money you got or bank account. None of that shit matters. Treat people. And it's kind of respect and the love and the kindness you treat people. The kindness you put forth in this world. That matters. I agree 110 percent with you, David. 110 percent. It's just really disheartening to. Oh, excuse me, I'm not trying to heavy breathe or nothing, okay? Um, <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> no, it's okay, that shit was funny to me. Um, <coughs> really disheartening to think that you're friends with people and you share so much of your life with them and y'all have these deep conversations, y'all are on the phone together, y'all share, you know, vulnerable moments with each other back and forth and share so much of your life and vent to each other and, and y'all are each other's anchor you know y'all are there for one another and take care of each other only to find out the whole time the other part, that, that other person just using what you're telling them guy them yes. using that information that you're telling them so they can use it against you so later it's, it's yeah it's heartbreaking and sickening that is not a good human being, and that is not somebody that I want to be friends with. Again, have I done malicious shit to people, especially Mama T? Absolutely, 110%. Um, but one thing I don't do is sit there and when someone's crying to me and, you know, they confide in me about stuff or they're just talking to me, I don't keep tabs on them. I don't record private phone calls. I don't screenshot or screen record everything so I can use it against them as blackmail later on. That's just so fucking disgusting. It's sickening. To hold shit over people's heads is a way to get them to shut up and stay silent. We're not going to stay silent, dude. We're not. We are... We are prepared and we are aware of what could potentially come our way in real life. We know what these consequences and repercussions could very well be. Every single one of us knows this. <clears throat> but someone like you 
is going to keep that shit going. You want us to shut up. You want to silence us. And that is typical predator behavior. And we're not going to. Mm -mm. Nope. You may keep nannering everybody's lives, but you know what? We have friends that can go live. We have other people that can go live. We just go on their live. It ain't going to matter. We're going to keep up with it, and we're not going to stop until something is done. Because like I said, I have not I have not disclosed any of my past on here. Nobody knows all my past. Don't really need to, but if I if I have to, I, I will disclose it. But I don't really have to. And the thing the thing is, I used to be the longest time. I mean, for the longest time, for years. And people that's known me for years will tell you I used to be the most closed off. Uh, not really, I can, secret I ain't really, ain't the, ain't the word, but the most closed off person you can ever meet. I, I never, yeah, people can come to me and talk to me about anything and I give them advice and stuff like that, but when it came to me, I never let my feelings out. I never told people what I was really thinking or how I really felt as far as personally because I never felt that I don't know if it was because like, I didn't trust people it's just it's just I honestly I think it was more I, I was scared to let people in I was scared to let people see the vulnerability. Mm -hmm. So I kept it to myself. No matter what happened to me, whatever, whether I was sad, sad, angry, whatever, I just kept it all in. And I wouldn't express it to nobody. I would just take it and take it and take it and take it and just and hide it. And bury it deep down. I must get that from you. <laughs> and never, you know, it was so hard. Even when I started, even when I was going to therapy, because I went to, you know, therapy for like depression and anxiety and stuff like that. It was, it was so hard for my therapist to get me to open up to him. Well, you know, my first therapist, for her first couple therapists, to get me to open up to them about how, what I was feeling, how I was feeling about shit. Because I just, I didn't, I, I couldn't. I just, honestly, I couldn't. I didn't feel, I was, I was scared. I was scared of being judged. I was scared of being ridiculed. I was scared of being... You know, I, I didn't let people in because just for that reason, I was scared of being judged by people. I was scared of being ridiculed by people and what people, I was so worried about what people thought about me and thought what people would think about me, how people would perceive me. So I kept it all in. I kept, I, I would, you know, and I wouldn't even cry. I, it, it took everything. I would cry. I'd wait till I was alone in the dark and cry about shit. Like I would never let anybody ever see me cry. Like ever. It took years, years for anybody to see my, until this day, it's when people see me cry, it's very rare. I know people's on here seeing me here and there and stuff, but it's very rare for people to see me cry because I don't. I just, I, 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 it's because I feel that I need to stay, be the strong person for everybody. 
I don't want people to see that vulnerability in me. You think you gotta fix everything, and everything can't be exactly. fixed. Exactly. I feel. I feel like. I feel like I'm. The, I'm supposed to be the fix everybody's problems, and I fix. You know, I'm. I try to help everybody. I try to be there for everybody and give everybody advice and try to help them and fix their problems. For the longest time, that's how I was. You still I are. Anybody, I'm still like that, and I and. I don't never let anybody in to try to help me. I just, I just, I've always been that way. So it's always hard for me to open up to anybody. Now I've, got, I've gotten better at it, and I've actually, I've actually started opening up to people and letting people in. In the last couple of years, I just, I, I just said hell with it and just. No matter what it was, when it was, where it was at, I spoke my mind and yeah, my feelings yeah. on anything and everything. Just don't give a shit what people think anymore. Yeah, but then again, then again, you open up, you open up and stuff like that, and then you trust people, and the people that you trust, they stab you in the back, and then you feel like you can't open up to any more people because of people like you know who. Oh, and I, and I, David, um, we love you. You're an amazing dad, and you're an amazing friend, and you're my brother. We're family. I will always have your back, and, um, you are loved. You are really loved, and you were so appreciated, and you got the people around you, your family and us that are meant to be around you. And, you know, in a way, I'm just going to say this. In a way, I really regret everything that happened in November. Especially me being one of the main people that wanted to keep November going. But I'm also kind of happy it happened, David, because if it wouldn't have happened, would we have known what we know now? Would would the branches on the tree have fallen off? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. And no, I, I don't think they would. I think it would have been, I think it, to this day it would have kept going and we would still have snakes and people using what, we're, what we say and what we, and stuff are feeling this stuff against us without us knowing it. And we still be sitting worse than we, it we is still, now. We still, we still be sitting back wondering who is the snake and who is doing what and why and all that stuff and all all while they still be sitting right here in the at a table with us. Yeah, and, and breaking bread with us and you know to know that y'all were recording all of that is so fucking crazy. And again, there are going to be consequences for y'all on that that uh, aspect and on that that scale because what y'all did was indeed a crime. One hundred and ten percent. And anybody that was in that call has the right to proceed. And I really, really hope that people do. That's not cool. That's not cool. And then to post very sensitive and triggering topics from those snap calls onto an app where it's all about belittling and dragging other people and making fun of people. And not all of Reddit is bad. You know, it's not. Some of Reddit is very educational. It helps bring awareness. It educates people. But a majority of it is bringing other people down and tearing other people down. It's a very, in my opinion, a very hateful site from the side that I've seen. But for y'all to take such a triggering topic and a very sensitive topic 
in a deep topic at that and post it on that app for hateful people to see and malicious people to see, again, that shows me the kind of people y'all are. Besides what you did in 2011, Eddie, that's so disgusting. And then to come on this app and threaten women who have the balls to stand up to your ass and bring awareness to you, to threaten women, to degrade women, to try to shut women up, and then to try to make one of these women out to look like she is something that she is not, when you're the predator. Hypocrisy at its finest, and again, it's typical mm. predator behavior. And it's also typical fucking deflection at its finest. And that's all he's been. That's that's all he's been doing this entire time. Ever since this started coming out, when what was it? Uh, Saturday when Pastor Petty put it out there that he was gonna go live about stitches. One one Saturday when that happened, when he when he first said he was gonna live about stitches, gonna go live about stitches uh, Monday or whatever it was. No, it was um. No, it was Sunday because he had posted that video. Was it Sunday? He, whatever, whatever the whatever like, day, whatever day it was, he first the first the first video he posted that he was gonna go live on it. The as soon as he did that, it's been all ever since. It's been all nothing but deflection, 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 deflection on everybody. Yeah, because he knows on, that he's on, getting caught on Mama T, on Mama Bear, on Katie, on Melissa, on. On Bree, on on you, on me, on all of us. Blaming everybody else, trying to bring everybody else's shit out. Trying to blame bring everybody else's whatever out. Petty's included. Like let's get but, but the thing is, and like like I said, and like I said, he, for somebody who's supposed to be so big on people taking accountability and responsibility. For their own actions, he has not once this entire time taken accountability or responsibility for anything he's done. Not one time. He's done nothing but reflect. He's done nothing but show throw, throw throw shade on everybody else and take the to try, to try to take the uh, heat and stuff off of him. And put it on everybody else except for him. And then, and then this shit, and that's something else I want to address about that. Okay. I was saying about earlier, and I, I completely forgot. Not since we're on actually on the topic, people keep getting hung up on this whole. Oh, he's not on the registry thing. He's not on the registry. He's not on the registry. So why he's not on the registry? That doesn't change the fact he did it. Just because he's not on registry doesn't mean he didn't do it. And that's what they're getting hung up on. Oh, he's not on a registry, so he didn't do it. He's not on a registry, so that means he didn't do it. You all lying because he's not on a registry. Well, he'd be he'd be on a registry. If he did this, he'd be on a registry. If he did if he did it, he'd be on a registry. No. That's why he took a plea plea deal. Think about it. It's not it's not brain it's it's not brain. It's not brain surgery. It's not rocket science. That's 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 like that's like that's like saying that'd be like saying that'd be like saying oh I'm not I'm not still in jail still in jail for still in that car when I was 19. So that means that that must mean I didn't steal that car, right? No. That don't change the fact that I stole that car and drove to Florida. I still did the I still did the crime. Just because I'm not still in jail for it doesn't mean I didn't do it. Just or it'd be like it'd be like saying when in 2000 when I got my very last felony in 2007. It'd be like I didn't be, be like saying I didn't do that because I'm not still locked up for it. No, I still did it. 
Just because I'm not still locked up for it doesn't mean I didn't do it. I still did it. So people need to quit getting so hung up on the fact, oh, he's not on the registry. So that means he didn't do it. You're all lying. You're, you're all lying. You're making things up, blah, blah, blah. If he did it, he'd be on the registry. No. He's not on the registry. That's why, that's why he took the plea, get, plea deal. That was apparently, I had to have been part of the plea deal, like, whatever. And the different states vary and blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, just because he did, he's not raised it does not mean he didn't do it. Because he very, he very much did do it. So you need to quit getting so hung up on the fact he's not on the registry. I'm so sick of hearing that bullshit. I'm so yeah. sick of hearing that. I'm so sick of hearing that fucking excuse for him. Oh, he's not on the registry, so he didn't do it. And, and you know the other excuse that I'm sick and fucking tired of hearing about um, is well. Were y'all there? Do y'all know what really happened? No, we weren't. And, we're just, and just like, and they keep blaming about about my son Kirkland. He's on a registry. He's on a registry. He did. Yeah, he's. He, he, I, actually, I don't know if he's on a registry or not. I, I mean, he may be, be. Be. I'm not sure what part. Of, what? Yes, sunflower queen. He did. He I don't. Was I don't. Fourteen and he was seventeen. I don't know. I don't know. What, I. I honestly don't know what. Cause I've not looked into it. I've not really got into that. I don't. So I don't know exactly what the. I know he's still on house. Kirkland's still on house arrest and stuff until August, I believe, or whatever. But and I don't know if it's part of his plea deal that he's got to be on the registry for so long, or if he's got to be on the registry and how how long or whatever. I'm. I think he does. But I'm not for sure or whatever. But they keep bringing that up. He's on the registry, so he did it. Well, yeah, he did it. And if he's on the registry, yeah, he's on the registry. But that doesn't mean, but the thing is, just because Eddie's not on the registry does not mean he didn't do it. Because he very well did do it. Just because he's not on the registry does not mean he didn't do it. Because he did. And David, I'm, I'm not trying to interrupt. I'm, I'm watching the live and you're moving uh, faster than me. And I'm trying to keep up on two phones. So I'm not trying to interrupt. Um, but David will even tell you right now. I don't condone what Kirkland did whatsoever. Neither do I. Neither does his sister who's in the box. Neither. Nope. Neither does Mama T. None of us do. We, and he, he know, and he it. knows we don't condone. Even he, he knows he, even my don't. His sisters don't. His brothers don't. His mom don't. He knows we none of us condone what he did. And that's my little brother. <laughs> And also, again, a plea deal or a plea agreement or a mutual party agreement is to help prevent the victim from having to take the stand, from having to take the victim to trial. And I'm not trying to trauma dump, but this is something that I'm very passionate about. And whenever I do get enough followers on my account my new main account and whenever I get a new phone and I'm able to go live on my own, I will be speaking my story and I will be telling my testimony about me being an essay survivor and an attempted great survivor myself. Um, when I was 15, I had to give a victim impact statement to my offender and my therapist was telling me, you don't have to do this. My mom was telling me, you don't have to do this. <clears throat> but I'm a very strong-minded and strong-willed person. And when I go through hard times and trying times, it's not going to defeat nor break me. So I went up into the courtroom as a 15-year-old little girl, and I sat on the stand next to the judge, and I looked my offender in his fucking eyes, and I told him everything mm -hmm. that I thought he did to me was absolutely disgusting. I told him how he was the scum of the earth, and I also looked him in the eyes, and I told him how he took a part of me that I will never get back. And I told him how he destroyed my family. So for y'all over there that are making fun of this young woman, she is now a young woman. Back then she was a little girl. For y'all 
on Eddie's team to defend him and make fun of the victim and to sit here and, and go live and say, well, were y'all there when this happened? No, we weren't, but we're going to believe the victim. Where the fuck were y'all when this happened? And I'm going to be honest right now. I think a majority of y'all side with Eddie because y'all fear him. Because he loves to blackmail, and he loves to fear monger, and he loves to hold shit over your fucking head to get you to shut the fuck up. Y'all are scared of him. That's why y'all are sitting with him. And I think that is so disgusting and so disgraceful and so disheartening. It's a slap in the face to his victim. And you never know if his victim is on this app and if she's seeing the shit. Her voice was heard. Her voice was heard. I will say this. Me and Melissa Sue have not gotten along whatsoever. Me and Katie, we clash. We bash heads big time. Me and Mama Bear are not friends. But I absolutely 110% stand with these women, and I'm so happy that these women came forward. And they faced Eddie head on and they exposed him for the monster that he is under that fucking mask. And they did the right thing. And I'm proud of Mama T for standing up and having her voice be heard. And I'm proud of David for it. And I'm proud of Bree for doing the same thing. And I'm proud of myself standing here right now speaking up for myself. Y'all all forget that we knew Eddie and Lindsay and Amber for two years. And what happened to us is going to happen to y'all. So make sure y'all agree with them on everything. Make sure y'all agree with them on everything. Because the instant you don't agree with them on something, or the instant that you state your mind, they're going to do the same shit to y'all. I promise that. Yep. I promise that. Y'all talk to us like we don't fucking know who these people are. And y'all say y'all have been around for a long time. Yes, very well. You could have been around for a long time. You you could have been outsiders observing. But don't you ever sit there and talk to us like we have no fucking clue who these people are and what, what we've been through. And don't you ever don't you ever sit there and talk to us like we don't have a right to defend ourselves or stand up for ourselves. Well, were y'all there? No. Again, we're going to believe the victim. And y'all weren't there either. So y'all go ahead and believe the grapist. Y'all go ahead and, and believe the grapist and sit at the table with the grapist and break bread with the grapist. Keep doing it. Because I advise you not to with caution. Keep the warning. Eddie was like my brother at one point, too. Lindsay was like my sister. So was Amber. They were there for me in some of my darkest fucking moments and some of my darkest times. And so was Mama T. And so was David. And guess what? I like three branches. If not more on my tree. But I still have my roots here beside me. And I'm blessed and thankful to have them beside me. And that they are still here every single fucking day. And just like they have my back, I'm going to have their back. And I won't stay quiet about this. I'm not going to stay quiet because I was a victim myself. And any victim should stand up for another SA victim or survivor. I feel, I feel, I feel you there. I, I've been an SA and a DV survivor twice. Not once, twice. Yeah, and I got her out of both of them. No, not. I got her out of one of them. Let's say my first one was when I was fourteen, Dad. You know this. Oh. Oh I yeah. Think you know, I think you know this. I know. I knew, yeah, you told me about that one. I forgot about that. And Ashley, if you ever want to share your story with me, I always welcome you to. You don't have to do it. If you don't want to. Um, and I will go live and I will share my story and my testimony because I want to encourage 
other survivors to come forward and know that my content that I'm going to start posting as soon as I get a new phone and whenever I do have access to go live, my content and my page is going to be a safe haven for SA survivors and even DV survivors because I've been through that too. And Ash, whenever I do go live, you are more than welcome to have my platform if you would like to share your story to encourage other SA survivors. You don't have to if you don't want to. That's that's fine. I mean, I'm a, I'm usually an open book. I but I mean, at this at this point, people making fun of and saying stuff that's not appropriate for SA and DV survivors is ridiculous, and it hurts me because, like I said, not only have I been an SA and DV survivor once, but I've been it twice. The second time I went, I I I left. I came, I left from here to go to Kentucky and take her out. Of the second one, personally, my second one was really bad because he had me so he had me so messed up. Where he I had, he, he, had, he had he had her hugged up, like he forced he forced her hugs on her and in her. I literally had to go get her. I literally had to go. Find her and get her from him. He, I, almost, he, I, almost, I almost don't like that man. He had me so messed up to where he made me believe nobody else would love me. No other man would love me. Like, I was unlovable unless he was with me and he he was the only one man with me. And my family was against me and everything else. I mean, that's my second one was really bad. I'm not saying my first one wasn't bad, but... My second one was really bad. And the only reason my first one didn't go to court is because I was so afraid and so scared of this man. I had panic attacks, anxiety attacks. That's why I have those problems I do today sometimes is because of that reason. Well, you know what, Ash? You're a badass bitch. You're a fucking survivor. And you're here. Thank you. And I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm very proud of you. And I mean that with my whole heart. It's just, it's sad. The victim's voice matters. They matter. They have testimonies. They have PTSD. I, I have PTSD from mine. I came home tonight and I I called Mama T and I bawled my eyes out to her and I told her my story. And it was hard. But I'm the kind of person where talking about my trauma helps me. <clears throat> so... I'm an open door for anybody who wants to talk about their trauma. And I'm not going to use it against you. Well, Y'all, it's SA 3 o'clock. i got to get over here and head to bed. All righty. So. All right, David. We Love you all. Yeah, I got, got our housing app coming tomorrow, coming tomorrow afternoon, so... Yeah, okay. I'm, uh, I'm going to go lay down myself. I tried to lay down earlier, and <sighs> I'm not feeling as bad as I did for my flare-up. Uh, it's a little bit better. So I'm gonna... I do got a question before I get over here, because I, I really don't know, because I, and I said this earlier in the group call, when you guys were talking about rankings and all that crap. <laughs> I keep seeing this flash up here at the top of my thing. It says daily rankings and popular live. What the hell is that? Yeah, it's a whole new... Okay, so the daily rankings is basically entertainment. Um, these people do battles with other creators. They can be big, small, semi-big, uh, large creators. They battle. By popular live, it's got a heart. By daily... Ra and it says league... Something league. Something, diamond league... S, I think it says S5 or C5. Daily yeah, rankings. Are like, daily rankings, it's got. Yeah, it's 
I, I can't tell that. I can't tell that's a hand flipping me off or that's that. <laughs> no, it, it, it's a flame. I think it's a flame. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think so. But the rankings, in my opinion, are so pointless unless you just want to watch for entertainment because they do sometimes get heated. They are sometimes scripted and they are sometimes funny. But the rankings is basically where you watch people yell at a fucking screen and do entertaining shit. And you throw big gifts at them to get them higher up in the rankings. Oh, okay. If you reach uh, the podium, if you so get I've, the I've podium, never, I've never, podium, I've never really understood, understood those. Like I really have never understood yeah. the, the ranking crap. So. <laughs> it, it's honestly a waste of time because I used to gift um, uh, Honey Boo Boo's sister Pumpkin whenever she did the rankings for the first time, like two years ago or three years ago. Um, it's honestly pointless. It's a waste of your money. You can go in there and support the creator in other ways by sharing the live, tapping the screen, and you know, commenting and all that. But it's honestly stupid to me. It's basically people who get on there and yell and act entertaining and you know, take their shirt off if they're a guy and show their six pack like fucking J Hop and show their muscles to get lines and universes and they try to beat each other to the podium. It's it's dumb. Wow. All right, that's funny. But anyways, I'm going to get off here. So, I will talk to you tomorrow, baby girl. I love you. All right, love you too, Dad. And I will talk to everybody later. Bye-bye. Love you all.